Who's over here running these booty ass kills? Mark the drop zone. Yeah, if someone's on that Wi-Fi, I could just go to my phone. <laughs> Alright, that's good. We got the V2, boys. Let's go. Yo, what's going on YouTube? It is your boy Ears. Hope you guys are having a great rest of your day, start your day, whatever time it may be. A lot of you guys seem to really enjoy my best 16 class setup and sensitivity video. So I decided to go ahead and create a best 16 pro player tips video for you guys. So if you guys are trying to increase your KD, get more V2 rockets, and overall just get better at Call of Duty, whether that be Call of Duty World War II or whatever Call of Duty you might be playing, hopefully this video will, will help you guys out. Let's shoot for 250 likes. I ask you guys to drop an early like. And without further ado, Let's get right into today's video. Now, the first tip that you guys want to keep an account and pretty much use at all times is you guys want to run a proper class setup. Now, what I mean by running a proper class setup is you guys want to make sure you guys are running a division and basic training loadout that directly represents the type of weapon you are using. So if you guys are running rifles, obviously you want to be running infantry coupled with either forge or hunker, some type of resistance perk, ammo perks. You guys can stay locked and loaded, stay in middle map and pretty much become a mobile speed bond for your team if you guys are running smgs obviously you're gonna be running some speed type basic trainings whether that be like hustle or maybe even energetic so you take no fall damage something along the lines of that so you guys can pretty much directly and enhance the class setup that you're running for your weapon now another tip that you guys should probably take into account and use is you guys want to keep your back to the edge of the map this is specifically true if you guys are playing game modes like free for all and team deathmatch if you guys are running solo dolo if you guys keep your back to the edges of the map you're going to be pretty much minimizing the ways and directions that you can die and especially in free for all you'll be able to lock down the spawns and people that are only going to be coming from you know the front of you not behind you so you guys will end up dying less and staying alive on longer kill streaks you guys can hopefully go ahead and get that v2 rocket because who doesn't like getting v2 rockets and that's something that since they just recently added a calling card i feel like that a lot of people are going to be trying to achieve on cod war 2 another tip that you guys want to keep in account and use is you guys never want to sprint around corners this is especially true now since there is recently been an infantry stock buff you guys want to make sure you guys are adsing around corners so you guys are not caught off of the sprint because we all know the sprint out time on this game is a little bit slower they did go ahead and buff it but since infantry stock has been buffed you guys really should just be aiming around corners and just pretty much just waiting until somebody comes around because odds are if you catch them while they're sprinting it's going to be a guaranteed kill and it's going to make it that much easier for you guys to stay alive and go on your v2 rocket streaks now another tip that you guys should run to keep an account and use is to play on a lower sensitivity i know a lot of you guys run on some ridiculously high sensitivities like 10 14 something like that i recommend you guys go ahead and dropping the sensitivity a lot of pro players run on a lower sensitivity and they have a good reason in my opinion and from my personal playing of cod world war 2 ever since i've been dropping my sensitivity my aim on my targets has been a lot more crisp and clear i sometimes feel that when i have a high sensitivity on this game there's a little bit less of aim assist especially over range so if you guys go ahead and drop down your sensitivity you guys will be able to stay on target at further away and i'll just allow you guys to stay on longer kill streaks and you'll be able to kill a lot more enemies and you'll be hitting your v2 rockets a lot more consistently another step that you guys should probably use and keep an account is you guys want to play with a team running solo has been it's just not ideal anymore you guys can if you guys have friends make sure you guys party up and play with them teamwork is key coordination is key if you guys have no friends on xbox live and you are forced to play with random teammates i recommend you guys honestly picking up the best teammate that you know did well in your match and running a couple games with them odds are they're going to be accepting your party invite and you guys can run around and enjoy the game what happens when you're playing with more friends you're going to have more fun and you're going to end up doing a lot better it's just a proven fact and since a lot of times on call of duty they do reward players for playing in parties whether that be double xp for playing in a party it just really makes no sense to play solo anymore another tip that you guys should probably go ahead and keep an account is you guys want to run attachments that best suit your weapon i see a lot of guys just neglecting this on weapons like submachine guns 
don't really run an SMG, or not really an SMG, don't really run steady aim on an SMG. You guys want to run attachments that are going to pretty much, like I said, best suit your weapon, and as well as pretty much enhance the weaker points of your gun. SMGs already have good hip fire, so you don't really have to run SMGs, or steady aim on SMGs, excuse me. Run like advanced rifling or rapid fire. If you guys are rushing around, obviously rapid fire is going to be a huge help and a huge benefit to your playstyle. If you guys, for some reason, might get into a longer gunfight, having advanced rifling is going to be a huge you know addition because if they don't have it on it your odds are going to kill them in that gun in that gunfight so that's why i recommend you guys going ahead and running attachments that best suit your weapon as well as more importantly running attachments that are going to strengthen those weak, weak weak points of the weapon you're running another tip that you guys want to run is you guys want to stay away from your teammates and this is especially true if you are playing solo like i said i don't recommend playing solo but if all else fails you guys want to stay away from your teammates and use them as a shield Shield. teammate shielding is nothing to be ashamed of if you guys are playing solo and you see somebody doing really well on your team odds are they're doing this to you you guys want to let your teammates run ahead of you and use them as kind of like beacons and markers as if there's any enemies in corners you let them go on the flag so they can get on the flag and you know cap it up halfway then hop on for that easy flag cap and some xp use your teammates to your advantage odds are the random teammates probably aren't good, so you guys want to use them in a way that's going to best suit your playstyle. You might as well get used to it and use it because I guarantee you guys, better players are going to be doing this to you. I'm telling you this right now. Me being a little bit of an above average player, I'm telling you, I use this a lot and it allows me to get a lot more V2 rockets and, you know, increase my KD when playing. Now, another tip that you guys should go ahead and use, and this is specifically for the players who are trying to land V2 rockets and even land the higher kill streaks, is you guys never want to count kills counting kills is going to straight up mess you up when you're trying to go for v2 rockets now when i was playing mw3 and they first added the moab streak which is 25 gun kills without dying i used to count kills i used to like okay i'm five off four off three off you don't want to do this if you guys are counting kills odds are you're going to be getting nervous you're going to be getting sweaty your aims are going to get all over the place your you know awareness is going to be all over the place you're not going to be focused up on the game and odds are you're going to die you just want to stay focused up and just pretty much have your eyes and your ears and also your mind on winning gunfights you just want to stay focused on staying alive don't focus on getting kills and counting kills focus on winning every single gunfight that you get into don't keep an account and don't keep track how many kills you need just think just for that moment and odds are you're going to be able to get your v2 rocket moab whatever game you're playing is it going to come a lot easier once you get around 100 of them i'm really saying 100 because that's about the time and the amount of moabs you need to get or v2s for you to really feel comfortable you're going to be getting them like it's nothing i'm telling you guys it works and hopefully that tip does help you out another tip that i want you guys to keep an account is you guys want to invest in a headset having a headset on call of duty is legitimately amazing not only am i talking about just communicating with enemies but being able to hear the surroundings being able to hear footsteps enemy grenades gunfire stuff like that is going to keep you that much more aware and it's going to allow you to stay alive a little bit longer and hit those v2 rocket streaks or maybe even that high kill streak that you're still wanting to get i'm telling you guys having a headset is probably the second best advantage you can have in call of duty the next one which i'm gonna be saying is my another tip is invest in a scuff like controller whether that being an actual scuff or an xbox elite or like a battle beaver something that allows you to have paddles on the back of your controller so you guys can do actions a lot faster it's going to be a huge help for your game i'm telling you guys this right now i recommend every single person that plays on xbox even playstation to go ahead and get an xbox elite or some type of scuff like controller it's just going to allow you to play a lot better it's going to allow you to do actions a lot faster the controllers are built and designed for you to increase your performance so that's why i recommend you guys go ahead and using it and nowhere near it might trying to sell out to any of these companies i'm telling you guys once i bought a scuff i honestly went from around a 2.5 to like a 4kd player you guys see it on live stream all these tips that i'm giving you guys right now are legit they do in fact work another tip i want you guys to keep in account and maybe even do if you can have the money is to invest in a monitor and that whether that being a low res millisecond response monitor or a smaller type of monitor if you guys play on a tv a lot of you guys I know play on like a 50 to 60 inch TV. Drop the size, man. Get a monitor. Get like a 24 inch monitor, BenQ, Samsung, whatever that has a low one millisecond response time. And you guys 
will guarantee seeing a lot better of performance when you're playing. Having a low millisecond response monitor and more importantly, a smaller monitor allows you to see the entire screen at one sitting. You don't have to move your eyes left and right to see a bigger picture. Now this might sound weird, but I'm telling you guys, playing on a smaller TV or a monitor is a huge, huge impact and a huge influence on your game. Every single pro player plays on a small monitor, whether that being like a 20 or maybe even an 18, uh, one millisecond response monitor it's going to be a huge plus to your gameplay another tip that i want to give you guys is to don't rage play chill relax if you guys are getting mad every time you die every time you die off streaks you guys are going to continue to play poorly and you're not really going to get better you guys see when i'm playing the game that i'm always relaxed at all times i don't really get too upset unless i die to some absolute nonsense just raging just to rage is just gonna mess you up. It's gonna get you upset. Your mind's not gonna be focused up and you're not gonna be able to hit those streaks and it's just gonna make you play worse. I'm telling you guys this, once you guys nail this, this is probably like honestly the biggest tip. You guys will just be playing a lot better. You'll be more relaxed and you'll just have a lot more fun with it. Another tip is you want to watch other good players as well. Hop in their live streams, watch their videos, stuff like that, whether that be mine or maybe even an actual pro player. Check them out, see what they're doing because if you guys are gonna be watching them, I'd are you're gonna be picking up on the good habits that they're playing and you guys are gonna in turn you know get better at the game this is something that you just have to do you have to just absorb just watching better people and being around good players is gonna make you a better player believe it or not another tip that I want you guys to keep in account is you guys want to use the best guns in the game a lot of players for some reason I don't know where this came from where this started they for some reason don't like to run the best weapons they think it's cheap they think it's boring they think it's you know scummy it's not man if you're trying to get better at the game odds you want to run the best weapons odds are you guys are probably running some weird setups run the fg42 run the bar run the stg run the volk use the ppsh use and abuse them they're the best guns in the game and for good reason just use them you'll be able to get your streaks you'll be able to get your v2 rockets and you'll get more kills and you'll have more fun who doesn't want to do that now another tip that you guys want to do is you just want to put time into the game you guys have to put time into call of duty if you guys want to see you know a change in your gameplay you have to play it every day if you guys have an hour of your day get on the game you know they'd be playing some private matches playing some pubs maybe some umgs do whatever you got to do to get your fix in on the game because if you do sit down and play it you guys are going to be becoming a lot better players now the final and 16th best tip to get better at the game is love of the god play comfortably play in a sweatshirt play in joggers whatever don't play in like a suit and tie this sounds so stupid but i'm telling you guys if you just play chilling if you're being cool you're relaxed you're gonna be playing it a lot better you're gonna be you know doing a lot better in gameplay and i guarantee you guys are gonna have a lot more fun so yeah these are my best 16 pro tips that i can give you guys on how to become a better call of duty player it's been your boy ears hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'm going to catch you guys in the next video. Deuces.